So guys, I'm back. Um, I've been away for a couple days and I haven't posted in probably a week and a half and I didn't mention anything but I took a little time off and I'm back here now at the farm and there's a couple changes going on and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So first of all, I got a GoPro style camera while I was in the States and I'm uh, really excited to put that into use on any action videos or anything where I'm kind of in the tractor doing things because it'll make it a lot easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. One of the major issues I have while filming is uh, you need to have one hand on the steering wheel and then usually you need one hand to shift in the Landini anyway. So it can be difficult to give you guys uh, a view of the action going on while I'm doing it and to kind of bring you guys along on everything because most stuff's filmed on my phone and your phone doesn't like to kind of stand up anywhere so it can be a bugger sometimes so i'm excited about this and i'm excited to be able to use it and finally uh, get some action shots and take you guys even farther into our farming life and um, what's going on in our farm so a little while back i commented on a channel called trucks tools and tractors and they uh he did a draw and i ended up winning a bag a while back and unfortunately i hadn't had time to get to go to the states and get it so i just got it and i just wanted to take this time and this moment to kind of say thank you um he did a draw and i won this bag and i'm pretty excited about it, it seems to be like a a nato style bag um a I don't know a whole lot about it, but it seems to be well built and uh, lots of pockets on each side and uh, just a ba basic canvas style bag with uh, three pockets. Uh, it seems to be pretty well built. He, uh, he had mentioned on his channel, I was watching a couple of his videos and he was saying that you can actually make it waterproof, which I had no idea you can do. So you can use a mixture of beeswax and uh, I believe linseed oil and something else. And you can make any canvas or uh, cotton uh, waterproof. So I'm really excited to uh, try that one day and use it and see, see how it goes. And maybe I'll do a video of it when I do the waterproofing thing. I, I'm gonna probably use it. I'm looking to get my hunting license this year. Um, at the time, I just never really never really got to it i should have had it a while back but it just never really happened but on our farm we have ducks and deer um deer isn't really such a big deal in our area um it just it isn't i'd rather go moose hunting up north than go deer hunting but i know it's a lot bigger in the states and the south and stuff than it is here because as i said we have moose hunting i would like to go duck hunting though so but yeah, I'm really excited about the bag and uh, see how it goes. And I really appreciate it for uh, sending it to me and completing that contest. It was, uh, it's it's amazing what you can see and what you can learn on YouTube. And it's amazing the people that you kind of connect with on YouTube. Because the more, more and more I see it anyway, you start seeing people that have common interests and it becomes kind of like a closer family or friends that you have something in common and you can relate and you can learn from each other and move farther. So but there hasn't been a lot going on here. Um, same as normal, just uh, feeding. I have some more sprouts I've got to feed that I did a bunch before I left, so I'll feed them while I'm going along. We've got a little rain snow today, but just nothing new. No new calves, just those three. And um, I haven't really touched anything for spring yet because spring hasn't really happened here yet. I want, I'm hoping, to clear trees soon and maybe get some work done in that backfield so that that becomes a, a hay field if I can get there before anything starts growing too too much. I'm just uh, working on that and waiting on kind of the wetness to go out. I'd also like to spread this year and get it on my hay field to get some manure on my hay fields because I didn't have a manure spreader last year and that's one of the things that's restricting me because even before I was farming in this uh, on this farm we were pushed back because we hadn't spread in a couple of years. So that's why you can see a giant mound um, in the in the one field because we just hadn't spread. We had uh, our manure spreader must have broke or we couldn't get someone to do it. So it was a bit of a pain in the butt. So 
we've got a nice build up so i'm hoping we can really layer it on nicely and get some good growth off it and put some nitrogen back in the soil a lot of our fields do have clover in them uh there is a lot of nitrogen clover fixing in there but uh, i do really want to get that on and get all those nutrients into the fields and it gets rid of it too um that's that's the plan if i can get a manure spreader somehow in action that it would make a big difference on our place and hopefully get some fences up so i can't wait to go forward guys and take you guys along so thanks a lot guys feel free to comment subscribe and feel free to check out any of my other videos take care <laughs>